So thank you all for joining. Let's dive into our webinar, Is My Home a Good Fit for Solar? My name is Nicole Cooper. I'm a marketing manager here at Straight Up Solar. I found a passion for sustainability through my artistic practice, and I use my marketing experience to help others discover the benefits of solar through my work with Straight Up Solar. Uh, with me is Jake Hagedorn. Uh, he's a recent, he's recent addition to the Straight Up Solar team, and he's new to our team, but not to the industry. Did you want to share a little about yourself, Jake? Sure. Yes, I came, um, built my own insurance agency first, came from the insurance uh, industry and uh, needed a change of scenery. Uh, so I sold my agency to my partners and entered the uh, solar industry last year. Um, was with two other solar companies before I found my calling with uh, Straight Up Solar. Uh, couldn't be a better spot. Happy to be part of the family uh, and excited to uh, help folks go solar. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, then I want to take a minute to share a little bit about Straight Up Solar. We are Illinois and Missouri's most experienced turnkey solar energy design and installation firm with over 1,700 installations since 2006. We were founded by our president, Dr. Dane Glick. He is an actual doctor. And back when he was doing his medical residency in Kentucky, he had witnessed the devastation of mountaintop removal for coal mining. And at that point, he started looking into alternate energy sources for his home, but he really couldn't find a solar company at the time. Uh, so instead of letting that stop him, he actually educated himself. He got certified through NABCEP, which is a clean energy professional certification. And then he installed solar on his own home. Uh, and from there, friends, family, businesses all asked if he could install solar for them as well. And he agreed because he saw it as an extension of his values as a medical, prof as a medical professional to care for others. Uh, and then Straight Up Solar blossomed into a business that enables people to contribute to a clean energy lifestyle and a sustainable economy. We now have over 85 people working with us today. Uh, as a team, we're excited to help homeowners and businesses both reduce, a, a re reduce electricity costs, gain energy independence, and secure a powerful return on their investment with solar. We're also a certified B Corporation, which means we put people and planet above profit. And we're also a member of the Amicus Solar Cooperative, which is a large organization of solar companies who've come together to share trade knowledge and a shared passion for sustainability. In addition, we're a certified Generac PowerCell, Tesla Powerwall, and Enphase N Charge Installer. These are all solar batteries. Uh, we're also proud to be an REC Premium Solar Installer. Uh, one of the reasons we're so proud to offer REC is their code of conduct to do business the right way and commit to sourcing materials ethically and with integrity. Straight Up Solar also offers a 10-year workmanship and a sunrise to sunset uh, pr production warranty. Today is going to be really simple and streamlined, um, and I don't think the webinar is going to take a whole lot of time. Uh, we're just going to walk you through our handy online tool that we've put together to help you discover if your home is a good fit for solar. And, uh, and then we'll take questions at the end with Jake. So let's take the quiz. I'm actually gonna go ahead and drop a link in the chat now in case you guys wanna follow along or I'll be dropping it in the chat after the presentation as well. Um, if you guys would rather watch this and then do, the, then do the quiz later. So let me go ahead and hop over to the quiz. Jake, do you wanna take over from here? You bet. All right, Nicole, thanks for having me here. Let's jump right into it. So the first question in our quiz is which state do you live in? Straight Up Solar operates in Illinois and Missouri. If you are outside of Illinois or Missouri, we are partnered uh, with Amicus Co-op of other solar providers in the country. It's pretty straightforward, whether you are in Missouri or Illinois, feel free to click which option you are there. Next question, do you live in a house, condominium, or apartment? The majority of the installations we do are on houses, um, anchoring our solar panels to the roofs of houses. Usually homes are owned by a single owner, thus makes it easier for the decision maker to either decide yes or no for solar on homes. Condominiums and apartments. Um, if you are the owner of a condominium, you can certainly make that decision. Or if you live in an apartment, we would typically work with the property management uh, of an apartment complex to determine if solar is a good fit for the complex. 
Next question, describe your neighborhood. Wait, wait we want to launch a poll real quick. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's right, excuse me. <laughs> right, keep on track here. <laughs> we'll go right ahead. We're just, just going to uh, launch a quick poll to get a feel for uh, what the audience is like. Um, uh, what type of home do you live in? I'll let you lead on this one. Okay, pretty straightforward, guys. Which home uh, do you live in? House, kind of many more apartment. I think we got most everybody in there. I'm gonna go ahead and end the poll and share the results. Okay, I'll just read them off. It looks like uh, looks like everybody in our audience is in a house. So that, <laughs> that helps. <laughs> we'll select house then. Fantastic, fantastic, okay. So as a majority of folks that live in house, um, where your house is is dependent upon where the solar panels will go. Um, best described as your neighborhood, whether you're in an urban, suburban, or rural area. Typically on urban areas, they'll be on rooftops, um, as well as suburban areas. We typically do installations on rooftops as well. Uh, unless you certainly have the space in a suburban area for a ground mount. Um, in rural communities, we typically see uh, farmers in these areas um, or single home families. And many times we will do ground mounts in rural areas uh, if you have the space on the ground to do so. Um, obviously, roof mount options are the same uh, as well in rural areas. It just depends on where you would like your solar panels to, to go. Um, so would you describe your neighborhood best as urban, suburban, or rural? Okay, next question in our quiz is, where would you like your panels to be placed for your PV system, whether in the yard, on the ground, or on the roof? And typically with roofs, um, we ask a question, how old is your roof? Typically we look to see as long as your roof is less than between 10 and 15 years, you typically won't have to replace your roof before you put the solar panels up. Uh, the younger the roof, um, the more advantageous it is for solar. However, we do install uh, solar panels. We will take them off for the installation of a new roof and then come back out and put the panels back on after you have a new roof. Many times um, we utilize our contacts in the roofing industry um, to help folks out and get new roofs as well. Um, so if you know the age of your roof, fantastic. If you're not sure, um, we, um, we obviously have an option there that you don't know. Um, we can work with one of our contractors, come out and take a look at your roof, as well as our on-site engineers um, that can also help determine the age of your roof. Okay, next question. What is the material on your roof? First option is shingles. Um, the majority of the mounts that we do for roofs is on shingle roofs. We have a metal option, slate option, tile option, cedar shake, and also flat membrane TPO. So as the majority of options that we do are shingle roofs, um, a lot of times we get questions on how do you keep um, the panels from leaking, uh, causing leaks in the roof. That's a big concern that a lot of people have is, am I gonna have holes in my roof? Am I gonna have water damage? We actually use a product called Flash Foot 2, um, which creates a water seal a full inch above the roof. So not only do you have a waterproof seal a full inch above the roof, the product actually slides underneath of the shingles, allowing the shingles to still continue to function and operate. Um, and solar will actually have to reinforce the roof um, as well as reinforce it. Sometimes when you have enough solar panels on there, you'll also see a decrease in your attic temperature. If the sun's not hitting the roof, the sun can uh, be absorbed by the solar panels, turned into sun power, turned into solar power. Uh, and you see a decrease in your attic temperature, which helps decrease the temperature of the home. Kind of uh, an added benefit of going solar that not a lot of folks think about. Um, typically for slate, tile, and cedar shake roofs, we do not mount on those kind of roofs. Reason being, if we were to mount on those kinds of roofs, um, you would void the warranty on a slate, a tile, or a cedar, cedar shake roof. So we tend to stay away from those. If you do have a roof like that, we can certainly look at a ground mount option. Okay, utility companies certainly make a difference in the solar industry. 
um, there is a system called net metering where you actually get credit for the actual for the extra solar power that you create. Um, our solar systems are grid tied. And so that extra power that your system create, usually in the summertime, is sent back to the utility and they'll give you a credit towards the utility's future power usage. Each utility has a different net metering system, um, which is why we asked you to select your utility so we know who we are working with when it comes to utility, whether it's Ameren, Illinois, Ameren, Missouri, Corn Belt Energy, Egyptian Electric, Quiver River Electric, Kirkwood Electric Co-op, Southwestern Illinois Co-op, or if there are other. There are a ton of utility providers out there. Um, and if you uh, are not one on the list, simply select other. Um, the next question, how much do you currently pay for your electrical costs? Um, we know that from research, um, your electrical cost is usually in the top five most expensive bills that you have um, behind your house payment, car payment, cell phone, uh, and then typically your utility provider is either the fourth or fifth most expensive continuing payment that you have as a household owner. Uh, it can be anywhere from 60 bucks a month to $600 a month. It just depends on your usage. So if you know what you pay for electricity on a yearly basis, please select your option. The most common um, is anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000 on an annual basis. Okay. Financing. As far as solar goes, how do you plan to uh, finance your solar system? Obviously, you are welcome to pay cash, and some folks certainly choose to do so. Uh, for our financing options, we work with a company called Clean Energy Credit Union. They do nothing but finance green energy products from solar to wind to hydro to... Um, uh, goodness, what's the, uh, the geothermal, different things like that. So if you're interested in financing, uh, please select your option of yes or no. Uh, they have options from 10, 15, or 20 year options with very, very competitive interest rates uh, in the solar industry. Next, an option that's becoming more and more popular as time goes on and is continuing to get better uh, as technology increases are batteries. Um, the name Generac is a very familiar uh, name in the backup battery industry, um, known for their generators typically. They have entered the battery market as of a couple of years ago and are a leader in the battery backup market. Um, everyone is familiar with Tesla as well from their cars. They also have battery backups for homes with solar. Um, and Enphase. Enphase is um, one of our newer products uh, as far as battery stores that uh, we have a partnership with. And it really depends on the setup of your system as to which battery option will be best for you. Some folks have a preference, whether they are savvy for Tesla or if they have the, the Generac um, uh, generator already and want to partner their generator with a battery. Uh, and then N phase, we typically see uh, for systems with micro inverters. Uh, micro inverters are inverters that are placed underneath of the panel uh, instead of on the outside of the home. Uh, and N phase is typically who we use for our micro inverters. Next. Next, um, are you interested in an electric car charging station for your home? As we know, cars are going to continually be more and more popular for electric vehicles. Um, and so as electric vehicles become, become more and more popular, folks are going to have to figure out how to charge them. Sometimes an employer will have a work charging station. Uh, gas stations are starting to put in EV charging stations. You can also have one installed in your home, which Straight Up Solar does right along with the installation of your solar system. So when GM uh, moves all their production of their uh, cars to electric vehicles by 2025, you will be set and ready to go with an electric car charging station that we install the same time we put up your solar system. And furthermore, what are your reasons for going solar? 
a lot of people go solar for many different reasons. The most popular is the financial savings. 85% of people go solar because it's going to save them money. Uh, and that certainly is the case. You can bring your electric bill from $200 down to $20, down to $10, down to $0. Really just depends on the time of year and your solar system, how we set you up. Some people like the energy security, especially with that battery backup. Do you want to you know, really take back your energy resilience away from that utility and put that power more in your hands where you own your power? Um, and the environmental benefits are obviously there as well. Um, you're not using the utility's power, which is typically generated from nuclear or coal-powered plants. Um, you have clean, green energy, a micropower station on your roof, or if there's any other reason that you want to go solar. Uh, and finally, how did you end up hearing about us from Straight Up Solar? Uh, was it a friend of yours? Uh, did you see, receive one of our emails? Um, we are, have a huge presence on social media. Uh, did you find us through a web search? Um, did you attend one of our power hours for Straight Up Solar presentations like we're doing today? Um, did your organization partner with Straight Up Solar? Is it maybe on your business? Um, have you visited Solar's website or an event booth? Um, and saw an advertisement on one of our vehicles. That happens quite a bit. Uh, um, I get a lot of phone calls from, oh my gosh, Jake, I saw your truck um, putting uh, solar panels up on my neighbor's house. Um, so we get a lot of those types of things as well. Or did you read about us in the newspaper? We have lots of different type of marketing um, avenues that we do to reach folks out there. Okay. Um, everyone's situation is different. Um, from here, if you would like to have a more personalized proposal put together for you, uh, entering your information in here, one of our uh, solar support specialists will reach out to you um, and really do a basic screening to see if your home is properly set up for solar. Make sure there's not too many trees. Um, make sure that you're, you're in a utility that is, is um, friendly with solar. Uh, but from here, our solar support specialist will reach out to you with the information in hand. Uh, from there, you'll be directed to a project developer like myself, whether it's me or one of our other, um, I believe there's about 11 of us now, solar project developers here between Missouri and Illinois. Uh, and we'll work with you uh, to create a proposal to figure out where solar panels would go what the associated costs would be, and how much you can expect to save from your electric bill by going solar as well. Okay. Nicole, you're muted if you're, if you're talking here, if you, um... Nope, go ahead. Sorry, I, uh, I clicked the wrong button on there. So you're, you're good to go. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So getting started on your solar project, step number one, um, share your basic information on the form that we just showed you. Uh, solar support specialist will reach out to you and start the process. Um, from there, um, we're going to set a customized plan for you. You'll be working with a project developer like myself um, to figure out where the panels will go, whether on the roof or the ground. Uh, we'll put a proposal together um, and full of pricing to show you the exactly what you'd be looking at as far as a solar system goes. If solar does end up making sense, we actually assign you a project manager who is your single point of contact. Um, so you're working with one person rather than working with five or six or seven other people or calling into a customer service department that you can't get a hold of anybody, you have a project manager who will walk you through the entire process um, to make sure we pass everything from permitting and engineering and design. Uh, and they are your go-to point of contact. After we get the system installed, we set a date for the installation crew to come out uh, and actually build your project. It takes anywhere from two to four days, depending on the size of the system, whether we're using batteries or not. Um, after the system is up and installed, we'll do an inspection um, and Amron will actually come out and switch the meter on the outside of the house to a bi-directional meter. So that meter actually spins two ways for when power comes into the house and when power goes out of the house from your solar system. Uh, and after Amron installs that bi-directional meter, you get to flip the switch, turn on your system and begin energizing your home. 
uh, from there, you're enjoying your new solar array, the benefits of going solar, whether it was for that financial benefit, whether for the environmental benefit or energy resilience, taking back your power and owning your power. Uh, step five is the most exciting for us by far to really see folks uh, enjoy their solar systems and reap the benefits of it. Okay, questions right. and answers. Does anybody have any questions and one thing is there are no silly questions when it comes to solar um <laughs> the most common questions i get is how does it work and what is the cost so um, we can certainly answer those or if you have any other questions as far as uh, warranties on our products or questions about our company um, we're here to answer those questions for you today